Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. We have Do Life versus Fisheye Game 3 of BSL Season 13 Losers Bracket to see who will be eliminated and who advances to the final match. Upper left hand corner, we have Do Life again as that marine green Terran. Bottom left hand corner, we have Fisheye as the red Protoss. And yeah, it's back and forth between these two players. And the question is, is a level of consistency for both of them. So Do Life, when he is on, He's shown a strong degree of macro that's hard to contend with. And Fisheye, when he's on, we like we saw last game, that's usually the, lo that's the level of play I love seeing out of Fisheye. And it's that style of play that honestly makes me think that he is a contender to win Hasu League if he can just make it happen. But he has shown a degree of inconsistency in his games as well. This is going to be on Revolver, which I think might favor Do Life's style of play. Because Fisheye, well, we'll see how it goes. Because you do have that bottle up natural expansion. You have three bases that you can hold. I'm almost, I don't know, it might be even. Because if it turns into a, a similar match like last round, where it's just constant Arbiter Barrage, recalls, and attacks on the third, that could play out really well for Fisheye. Because you can you can get the third fairly easily. It's a little bit harder to sneak up and take attacks. You can kind of you got to go up a ramp at either direction to kind of poke it. But once once you're isolated around three bases, the secondary problem is how do you break out? And I I think I've seen that several times in PVT, where Protoss end up expanding more on the map. Looks like we are going to see another twelve nexus. We'll see if we get three SCV and gas. There was actually, was that gas before barracks? No, that was gas after barracks, but refinery being grabbed. Should have paid a little bit more attention. Feels a little bit early. I don't think it is, though. Um, SCV scout looks like it's going to move down. So this is a bigger advantage for Dulife this time. He's going to get the first scout on Fisheye. He's going to see the 12 Nexus, and that is going to give him more options to respond. In this instance, I think if Fisheye tries to play the same get the Cybernetics Core early style, it might... Oh, and... <laughs> Counter Gas Steal from Do Life. Creative play. All right, Gateway's up. Definitely going to want a second Gateway and potentially a Forge. So double Gateway now for Fisheye. And is... Do so it looks like Do Life is just going for a potential bait here. He wants to try to force... Fisheye to build a lot of Zealots. No gas being grabbed at all from Do Life, though. So it looks like he wants to just sneak into an early command center himself and try to halt probe production and catch up a little bit economically that way. He has also pocketed that SCV to the corner. And unfortunately for Fisheye, he's going the long way around. So Cybernetics Core being built. There's that initial Zealot. I would not be shocked to see an immediate second Zealot and a third Zealot from him, potentially. But it depends on also when the scout makes its way in. Marines, if they can get to that gap, that would be absolutely huge as well. Two Marines on the front. The probe now wandering up. I believe this probe, is, yeah, it's going to get eyes on that command center and be able to immediately back off. So that's going to allow Fisheye to make stronger economic decisions to follow. But Do Life, in the meantime, has that SCV scout. It's going to be able to wander into the main, get eyes. Still no gas. Is he going to go for a second gas deal? That would be hilarious. Cybernetic score warping in. Still no gas all the way around, though. The Zealot actually leaving the front, making its way to the natural expansion, and that is forcing the Marines away from this initial bunker. One Marine taking a lot of damage initially. The probe getting in the battle probe. Yeah, doing some damage to the late Marine. That Marine might get wiped out. So each Marine's taking a considerable amount of damage. The probe gets the kill there. Love to see it. Zealot trying to sneak away to get a second marine kill. Does get a second marine kill. The factory finishes, though. And there's a first vulture in production. That vulture could be troublesome for Fisheye. He needs to get a dragoon out in a hurry. So the Zealot goes down. There's a first dragoon to deal with this. But it'll help to blockade here. But yeah, an already popping pylon alongside that natural to make it a little bit of a larger gap to hold. One advantage for Terran on this map is because it is so difficult... For Protoss to, I mean, there's just double entrances still. You can get mines out in the middle of the map. So let's see if he opts for that. Machine shop planning down. Second factory being built. 
Robotics is silly to follow, and looks like that natural expansion gas was taken before the main, so double gas now in production. I think range is... Yeah, so range was skipped for the robotics facility. I am wondering if Fisheye wants to follow this up with a fast robotics probe doing some damage to the Vulture. Manages to sneak out barely with its life. And the Vulture now going to hang out near that third, potentially for later game planning. Mines being upgraded, engineering bay going up near instantly when you have an armory to the upper corner. I'm wondering if Dewlife is plan is opting to go for that level one weapon seven minute timing, potentially. Robotics facility, are we gonna see an observatory? Or are we gonna see, we are seeing an observatory in range. So observatory almost before range. So really wants to get eyes on what do life is up to. Three, Dra Three Dragoons currently staggered information to deal with anything that would be encroaching at that location. Missile turrets plopping down for do life, just in case there were Reavers or also respecting Dark Templar play because currently he does not have any amount of information. Getting Vulture Speed with those mines first siege tank out and the Armory now finished. Also getting his Academy up in the midst of this. Level 1 weapons on the way. So now the question is, is does Does Fisheye opt to go for that faster third? It looks like he's plopping down two additional gateways. It seems like he could do practically anything with a lot of the with his level of play at this stage. Maybe he just wants to wait for the observer to move out, get eyes into do life space before he makes decisions from here. Currently, Caster Sense says with those two additional factories, this is in fact looking to be like a seven minute thirty somewhere around their timing attack with vultures and siege tanks. Terran have had success sometimes getting siege tanks on the low ground and using that as posture against the high ground, depending on positioning. And I have seen, I think I, I've even seen Dewlife pull that off before. Let's see if that observer makes its way up. Obser uh, avoiding that initial turret, doing a good job of doing so, but seeing this, and we'll see if it's a four factory variation or a five factory variation. Currently it looks like it is just going to be four factories. Several vulture, vultures planting a handful of mines around the corners. It looks like they're also planting mines at basically every single expansion here and also checking that upper right-hand corner. Compsat station up. Initial compsat for do life. Going to get eyes on the gateway count. Looks like he sees four, which is probably what he wants to see. Fifth gateway being plopped down as well. A shuttle being built. And unfortunately, a Stargate up and a Citadel of a Dune ends out leg speed coming online, so I do think there's a window here for do life if he wants to just potentially go for a pusher flood. It looks like he's instead opting to go a large amount of vultures to maybe plant a lot of mines and get map control. It looks like he, and I think he's going to do that and try to sneak a third in the midst of this. There's not a lot of siege tanks here to attempt to push, but there are a lot of vultures to try to maintain map control to slow down a third base, which we're already seeing here at the six o'clock location. And use a lot of vultures as a threat in the map to, yeah, go ahead and get that 11 o'clock base up. So he's going to grab that, and he's actually going to be in a... Oof, mine hitting these dragoons. He's actually going to take a big economic leap in the midst of that. Eggs being opened up. This observer is going to be able to wander out to that third and see the SCV in position. To potentially grab that. And it's kind of interesting, because do life grabbing a second machine shop... Almost playing it both directions, because with four factories, you can build up attack forces to potentially go for a push, for a push, or you can just be building attack forces to defend the third. So, kind of going halfway. Second armory is being plopped down to suggest more movement towards that level two weapons, level one armor. Kind of have these both directions. Stargate is up. Arbiter Tribunal. Second Templar Archives. Ooh. Or, sorry, no. That's the first Templar Archives. Forge is up. And we do have a shuttle. So it looks like Fisheye is going to be able to get that third ahead of all this. But he's going to have to fight off. No, okay, so now's the movement for Dewlife. So Dewlife, with the, this is a very thin siege tank count to try to go for this push. He's moving out with a lot of vultures. So he's going to have to rely heavily on vultures and mines to get something done in the midst of this. And I don't know that these three siege tanks with level and weapons is going to be sufficient. See... Fisheye does have a lot of territory to cover. 
seeding the low ground there momentarily. And the Siege Tank's just kind of grouping up to get position here mid-map. And this is, honestly, feels like shuttle bait. More Siege Tanks will follow this up. And his Dewlife, it almost feels like the plan here for him is, rather than going for a push, to maybe do a slow choke contain around the three bases. So I think this SCV, confusing both Fisheye and me here at the 11 o'clock location, Let's see if this continues and turns into a threatening push. Like, I'm not sure. Is Dewlife going to go for a push here and try to end it? Is he just going for a contain? Shuttle wandering forward to potentially do drops. There's only two siege tanks and there aren't any mines in position. And there are plenty of vultures to go ahead and wipe those zealots out should they attempt to land. So a single zealot clearing a mine right there. There's a face check, and you can see it just, I think the splash damage from the siege tanks actually ended up blowing up the mine before anything else. First Arbiter in production behind all this, and Dewlife, yeah, just seems happy to occupy that lower area of the field, and he's now grabbing that command center behind this. So it looks like, yeah, his plan, knowing the architecture of this map, knowing how difficult it is to bust out of that three base situation, is opting to take control here, almost like a TVZ here. Potentially pick away at units, get control of the middle of the map, and then make sure that Fisheye can't grab a fourth. Fisheye engaging with a piecemeal force from the left, clearing some mines. It's going to end up losing a handful of troops, leaving a lot of tanks unseaged. The Zelt's trying to bomb from behind. Now the engagement coming from the south as well. Some of these siege tanks getting picked off, but it looks like there's just overwhelming attack force for Dew Life. Plus he's got level one weapons versus just level zero weapons on that back corner. And having to go onto that flat ground... And engage a lot of this is opening up the opportunity for Dewlife to siege on the low ground and start taking control of Fisheye's natural expansion. So Fisheye pecking away at that. Unfortunately, it looks like he might end up paying for it. Some more Dragoons trying to engage from the rear, but there's enough Vultures and Mines to potentially clear that up. In the meantime, the siege tanks on the low ground pelting that natural expansion. Vultures getting wiped out from there. And Fisheye now, yeah, has big problems. He needs to take care of this immediately. Otherwise, this could turn into a game-ending scenario. Secondary natural expansion gas being wiped out. That looks like the Zealots are going to be able to drop there, but not before the Vultures are on that natural expansion doing some damage. Now that those tanks unseaged, so it looks like Fisheye is able to open this up. And has actually gotten a big supply lead in the midst of this. Has lost several probes, however, in between that exchange. But stays alive, at the very least. And also has retaken map control. The Vultures doing a good job of laying mines to open this up. But Fisheye on a tear. He's like, okay, that was your army. I don't think you have enough to defend your three bases, so now I'm going to push up into your third. This might be a mistake, though, with the closer reinforcement points and the several factors to reinforce. Is this enough to get something done? Tanks sieging on the low ground. The Dragoon's able to pick up another siege tank. Staggered forces, and Fisheye is able to get Zealots into that third base. Looks like he's going to turn around and try to regroup. SEV's taking tank splash fire in the midst of this. The Zealots on top of the siege tanks. And an Arbiter now joining the fray as well, and I don't see a Science Vessel anywhere. So it looks like Fisheye now turning it right back around. You overextended do life. Now you're going to pay for it. So that third base now under assault. Another siege tank taken out at that natural expansion. And now do life in a huge amount of trouble. Loses that second. Fisheye comfortably sitting on three bases. Some vultures trying to sneak through. Kind of a counter, kind of the other swing of like, okay, I don't think you have enough to defend. And these bases are very exposed currently. If there aren't Dragoons to deal with the Vulture counterattack, potentially. Observer getting picked off in the field. Fisheye actually needs to get something back at home base. Because, yeah, this could this could be a, a pro massacre. And could swing things right back out of his hands. We'll see. Maybe he can get some cannons down. Some cannons warping in. Maybe a little bit too late. He is lucky that these Vultures did not walk to the natural expansion. The Zealots moving over. Okay, finally some reinforcements going to go and be able to deal with this. They're going to have to fla uh, face plant those mines. That is going to back those vultures out. This is at the stage where I think Do Life might want to keep these vultures alive because it's the one thing out on the map that could potentially prevent additional expansions from being grabbed. It looks like, yeah, pylons, and this is where those mines paying huge dividends from earlier, delaying additional expansions. Because Fish, I wanted to immediately take maybe even a third and a fourth expansion. Sorry, a fourth and a fifth expansion. But these mines slowing down that process. So big wins from earlier, and that vulture. Oh. Nice mine detraction. Do life turning around without that third. He wants to make another run at it. 
This is another situation. Does do life have does fisheye have a cohesive enough attack force and enough troops to deal with this? This zealot is going to see this army incoming to be able to react, but he's got an army with that arbiter critically and that shuttle to the north. He's got a lot of territory to defend and not a lot of troops to do it. Do life immediately pressing in to potentially take out that third. Fisheye opting to stasis and walk into that natural expansion. I think that stasis might end up working against his purposes, though. Tanks siege to the north. That is a close reinforcement point. So it looks like he's opting to just sack his third base and the defense of the third to go ahead and maybe get some additional damage done. I'm not sure if I like that decision, though. Dragoons making their way through. Goliaths engaging in that siege tank, holding on that high ground. And this is a, a nice stasis, but a difficult... Because of that ramp, those siege tanks getting more damage done at that natural expansion. Vulture's right there. The Nexus is still up, but a lot of these probes have been taken out. The worker count about even. Looks like that stasis is worn off, and Fisheye is done as far as that counterattack. And in the meantime, this has been cleaned up. The third has been saved. But at the end of the day, supply count's just about even. Still going to give a slight advantage to Fisheye because he's got that third. Wow, this is brave. Moving the probes in before those siege tanks. Looks like he's going to wander them out to the fourth. <laughs> siege tanks should be able to see it. Kind of a scary moment. Can you imagine that in a, in a probe's life? You're just walking across these tanks in a chrysalis. It's like, hurry up, get out there, start working. Do life's main just about mined out. He's got a science facility. His natural expansion is still running, but he's not making any movements to grabbing a third. So it looks like he wants to just try to eliminate Fisheye with that level 2 lo weapons, level 1 armor spike. Only level 1 weapons on the opposite side. I don't see a lot of Arbiters out here, and Fisheye's troops are absolutely everywhere, so it is possible Do life can get it done this way. Engaging right here. The Goliath engaging underneath. Missing a bit of a comp set, but the Goliath, the Goliath is able to take care of that Arbiter very rapidly. It's Goliaths versus Dragoons. This is not the exchange Do Life was hoping for. And Fisheye continuing to press forward. And it looks like he is in a strong commanding position now. Able to stop that attack force. Engage it rather rapidly. And things are looking dire for Do Life's tournament survival chances now. Handful of Vultures there to the north. The Vultures continuing to stream forward. And Do Life, it's now desperation attack time. Just, yeah, flood as many troops as you can. Looks like some vultures are going to be able to once again clear out the 4 o'clock location. But again, this is wipe out your opponent with what you got time for do life. Working on this nexus now. He is in He does have kind of a cutoff situ uh, situation here. That Arbiter taking a lot of free damage. And it looks like he does have position to potentially lock Fisheye back into a little bit of an empty stasis there. Lock him back into two bases. Plus he's got to cross this bridge. Which is already mined. I don't see fish. Yeah, so Fisheye, if he wants to do this, he might have to walk through the low ground to make it happen. He's lost production at that third. He does have this additional mining base, so he still can ramp up production that he's working with. But he's going in with very small attack forces to try to deal with Do Life's attack forces. And Do Life continuing to reinforcing a nice stasis, or sorry, a nice defense matrix to keep that alive. The Arbiter having to push back. That Nexus has been wiped out. So Fisheye now with continuous problems, where he needs to. Deal with Do Life's position and Do Life wipes that Arbiter out, continuing to press into this. Ooh, a big mind drag right there. And it looks like somehow Do Life managed to get his third up in the midst of this. And Do Life is not done yet. He wants to go ahead and cycle around, realizing the difficulty of the map positioning where, yeah, these these bridges just make Seed Shank so strong and Fisheye having trouble mounting an army. And a sudden swing that I don't even know how this happened. All of a sudden, Fisheye down. 15 supply. I'm just going to give it to map architecture. Cannon's down, and it looks like Fisheye's rapidly going to lose his fourth. So moving from what was looked like a deathlock situation to all of a sudden down to two bases himself and needing to do that, the counterattack situation that Dulife was trying to execute moments ago. Flooding Dragoons across the base, trying to catch Dulife out of position, and go all in. How the tables have turned. Do life moving up to that third. The main and this is do or die for both players here. If do life defends 
this third base. That is certainly a victory condition. If he is not able to defend it, though, that is certainly death. Tanks on the low ground sieging, wiping out a lot of these Dragoons. Vulture is now sweeping in, rapidly across the map. Science Vessel here to negate the need for that continuous comp set. It looks like those Dragoons are going to get cleaned up. And Dulife still has a sizable standing army. Fisheye behind in the overall supply count. And these Dragoons are just now getting hunted by these Vultures. And with that, what looked like an instant win situation for Fisheye has flipped around and do life staying alive. Fisheye desperately trying to distance mine and grab his third. His natural expansion is gone. The troops he has here are all that he's got to hold this. Do life mining. Let's see if he, he's going to go ahead and grab another base at the one o'clock location to try to cap the advantage here. It's not over yet. But between these two, I got to give Dulife the advantage. And Dulife pressing up, getting aggressive, which I think is the right call here. Because Fisheye, yeah, distance mining, he's not going to be able to replenish his troop count. The level 2 weapons, level 3 weapons now. Versus level 2 weapons, level 1 armor. Those troops are going to be a little bit stronger for Fisheye in these engagements. But he's got, he's got a supply lead. He's had the better part of a lot of these engagements. Fisheye losing a ton of probes in the midst of all this going to take a while to replenish. So do life walking in. Fisheye trying to create a sweep and concavity to engage this and force do life to overextend, but do life keeping a pretty good cohesive ball behind this and the dragoons getting wiped out. There's still Goliath there pushing that arbiter back. The arbiter's down. There's only 5 dragoons between do life and victory and I think that might have been the GG moment. Once again, yeah, there's GG. Unbelievable game. And that is... Oh. Fisheye being ever manner, wishing, li uh, wishing do life luck in the next rounds. What a crazy game. What a crazy match. That was a big surprise. I was not expecting Fisheye to get eliminated here, but do life deserved it. Pulling victory back from the clutches of defeat. Epic game. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.